Yo, my dudes, what's going on? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Marvel's Daredevil Season 2, Episode 7, called Semper Fidelis. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully, you are having a wonderful day. And if I say hopefully one more time, I am going to kill myself. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. Give me something, Matt. Give me something. Please state your name. Richard Day. Can you state oh, the this is the court one. existing opinion, any at all, that you may hold for the defendant, Frank Castle? You mean the Punisher? I think he's an animal. Where does the insanity end? Man, he got a good point there, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Look at the music they dropped for this. <laughs> got some fucking goosebumps right now. I mean, Frank made it pretty clear he's willing to talk to me, at least as long as I'm alone. You right. You want to do that? Well, She's done it before. We have a better shot at getting to talk if I go. I'll grab the list of questions I was working on. She's done it before, man. She has done it before. Yeah. But I feel like something crazy is about to happen in this episode. Oh, she does have something. I didn't think she had anything. I've already looked at all of those men we've done it a hundred times. Sure. I swear, all I want to do is eat Mugu Gaipan off your bodies all day. We're not Chinese. Whatever. It's all me. <laughs> You're gonna want to stay real still. Why? Why does no one ever listen? Why doesn't anyone listen? What the hell do you want from me? You were hired by the Yakuza. I don't know what you're talking about. You encrypted files for them. Stop! I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll help you! That was really tense. Right, be a pet and tell us how to read this last page. Find better business partners. And kill your decorator. <laughs> what about my window that you guys gotta pay for? You guys broke my window. Guess I'll call Matt. Give him the news. Oh, well, at least we it. got something. As long as he has the opening statement of the year, I, I think maybe we have a chance. All right, but you know who you're talking about, right? Matt is going to have that opening statement of the year. Do they know we're here? Is this a decoy? Oh, well, looks like it. We're about to get some fighting. Whoa, I got close. <laughs> Sometimes Matt be doing some moves I don't understand. I'm pretty sure he's good, Matt. Oh, she got hit again. Give some pressure on 
No way, my man Matt is in boxers only. What'd you tell people? About? Poor Karen. I haven't seen this one. Yeah, the Russians like their knives. At least I think it was the Russians. And these? And the Yakuza. This is going somewhere we can't allow to go. He's not sleeping. Oh, she was. I thought she wasn't sleeping. Oh shit. He's gonna be late. I'm uh, I'm really late. I No, we don't have time for this. Into the exports. We don't have time for this. Have a good day in court, Matthew. Thank you. That's a pretty tough opening statement, man. Mr. Nelson, are you prepared to make your opening statement? She's good. So are yeah, you. Yeah, she is. Mr. Nelson? Mr. Nelson, are you reserving the right to make your statement at a later time? Come on, dude. Do something. But as the judge just said, to get it, they have to prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. So all I'm asking of you today, keep an open mind. Uh, that's all, Your Honor. Not bad, Foggy. Can we applaud? <laughs> that was a pretty thick slice of bullshit there, Counselor. <laughs> hey, man, he's trying. How had you change the report? And even, even if he says no one, it proves, it proves it. that the report was changed. Exactly. That's brilliant. See, you're a natural. Huh. Hmm. Well, I keep good company. <laughs> uh, you know what? Why don't I help you go through Tepper's breadcrumb questions? We could, you know, set them up, knock them down. All right, but it, it'll be boring <laughs> and tedious. Could take all night. Not every day your life is threatened and saved by a man in black. Do you, do you believe in what he does? You know, the devil of hell's mm -hmm. um yeah 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 of course i uh huh. what I, I believe in the law it should be behind bars <laughs> i mean he deserves a fair trial but he's murdered people yeah, right bad people i mean like the ones who killed his family are the ones who came after me but it's not F frank's decision who lives or dies that's up to god or sometimes a jury Oh, we're getting religious. What happens to Frank's family is a tragedy, Karen, but doesn't give him the right to kill. No, 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 no. God, God, no, not the right. That, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I can understand why Frank, why, why anyone would seek vengeance for something after, after losing oh, it the way that... No, 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 no. You're right. I don't know, maybe uh, after, after the trial's over. Yeah, real date next time. <laughs> good. Ooh, that's not good at all. That seems like a real deal breaker for the two of them. All 15 victims died of wounds inflicted by the same caliber bullet. Each shot multiple times. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he's doing all the nervous ticks. Biting the nails, looking sweaty. Crossing. Let's see what you got, Matt. I'm crossing everything. <laughs> After last night. Doctor, did something happen last night to impact your testimony? She was in my house. She no. Tied me up. No, Electra. She said she didn't give a damn who got to me before. Ooh. If I didn't tell the defense what really happened, she'd hunt me down and kill me. Ooh. Who told you this? I don't know. The woman. She wears a mask. Face was covered, had some foreign accent. Your Honor, I believe no. the defense intended was homicidal. She's um my new client. Hmm. Foggy, the, uh, you just told them. Which one? Oh. Private one. Oh, oh, oh. Foggy's like piss. I did. I lied. But look, the Yakuza are funneling money into something even bigger and darker than before, right? Lecture came to me. I'm trying to help you. You wanted to take this trial. You, you missed strategy sessions. You're asking as my coworker? Oh. Or my girlfriend? Don't go there, Matt. Both. Yeah. I'm sorry you're caught in the middle of this, but right now I have to go. Where? I'll see you tomorrow, Karen. Wow, you're giving her nothing. Yeah, maybe.
You're giving her nothing if you don't yell at this woman. Haha. <laughs> Damn, Matt's not even sneaking in this time. He's about done with people's shit. Oh. Okay, that guy's gonna need surgery. I swear, Matt loves doing drop kicks, man. You didn't want me to? Ready? Like something was pouring. I believe this. Oh, shit. What's down there? Yo, it still didn't hit it. What the hell? All right, season two, episode seven of Marvel's Daredevil. Uh, I can honestly say this episode was a lot better than the previous one. Uh, I can't help but think that it's still not quite uh, there as far as what the beginning of the season episodes were. I'll give it an eight. Uh, I enjoy a lot of the court stuff that's going on. The uh, Frank stuff, Punisher. My problem with this portion of the season is that I really don't care that much for the Yakuza stuff. I don't know. It's just me, maybe. Yes, they are another group, another gang that is, you know, a bad gang. They're doing what they're doing. That's going to be, you know, causing trouble. They're trying to regain uh, the city now that Fisk is gone. That's fine. It's okay. Uh, really cool. Uh, Electra, Daredevil, you know, fighting scenes together I think they do really well together as far as that goes uh, I, I, I just don't care about the Yakuza stuff I I even like the Electra and Matt past like college stuff that's going on when they talk about those things I like it them together I like it as far as like fighting crime and doing all that good stuff together it's just the Yakuza thing it's just kind of like whatever um, that's a little interesting. What are they building for? That's something. That's a that's a pretty good cliffhanger for the end of this episode. What the hell are they building that for? Like, or building it? Why are they digging? Why are they digging down low for that? Whatever they're digging for, you know what I mean. And the fact that he threw that flashlight and it still didn't hit uh, the bottom. That thing is freaking deep. Why are they digging that deep for? So that was cool. Um, it was a good cliffhanger. So I'll give it that. Uh, the court stuff is amazing though, man. It's really good. It's really good. And, and, and Karen, Karen in that, uh, little moment where she was kind of like wanting more out of Matt. That was great acting from her, man. Good shit. Even the foggy stuff when he was arguing with him. Yo, like everything that he was saying was like spot on and you know, for that, I got to, I got to, you know, the hat has got to go off to him because he definitely uh, came out and let Matt know, like, yo, you lied to me again. Like, I'm supposed to be your friend. You promised me you weren't going to lie or keep things from me. You did again. Then you don't even have the balls to tell Karen what's going on and who you're dealing with and who your private client is. Uh, you're putting the case second to her. As far as Electra goes, you let her sabotage the one thing we were, were going to have going our way. Uh, I knew too, man, because that guy was sitting there and I'm like, yo, this guy is like really nervous for somebody that has a bulletproof story uh, to steer people away from believing that he tampered the, uh, what do they call them? The, the autopsy, uh, uh, autopsy. <laughs> man I cannot pronounce shit but yeah like he tampered something he tampered something the autopsy or whatever and you know they had really good they had a really good thing going they you know they convince him that that's what's going on Ray is off 
that's a really good sign and electro sabotage that uh, I'm not entirely sure what that means as far as when uh, he said that he wanted to say something on record and they cleared the entire courtroom. Why is that? Does anyone know uh, more into why that was uh, issued? Why they made everyone leave the courtroom, including the jury, uh, but not the, uh, the lawyers themselves? It was just a little confusing. Uh, but I also don't know anything about all of that stuff. So I'm just curious if any of you guys know uh, and wouldn't mind letting me know in the comment section. Why did they clear everyone out? That was really uh, confusing. But, you know, they cleared them out or whatever. Uh, they, you know, he got, he said on record, you know, hey, you know, I screwed it up. I screwed, uh, you know, Castle's family's autopsies up. But then I also screwed up another one, a John Doe. I wonder if the John Doe is actually someone else because uh, they did mention a male, but then they left it at that. Uh, so I'm very curious with that stuff. Uh, I'm excited and like really wanting and can't wait for the actual sentencing and all that good stuff to go on because I got a gut feeling whether they rule it because it seems like they're not going to give Castle a chance regardless it comes off like that, at least to me, where it seems like he just pretty much, they're not going to side with him. They're not going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, so I'm very curious if this trial goes to and, and comes to a conclusion and it's Castle, you're guilty. Does he just take it and go, go away? I mean, I guess this is for my own fault, knowing or and having like knowing that there's a Punisher show. Could, I mean, I don't think the Punisher show is um, prior to this. I'm assuming it's after this. So I know I'm making assumptions, and that's, that's this is just me brainstorming, but he either gets off as not guilty. These are the options that I see. He either gets off as not guilty, or he's guilty and he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> as far as, like, he's not leaving the courtroom without walking out a free man. So... Interesting which route they go. Uh, we, we're not quite there yet, uh, but I just don't see. And even if I, even if I didn't know that there was a Punisher show, and I didn't know anything about any of that, I would still tell you, knowing the person that Frank is, he's not going to take a just guilty charge and walk away, and not you know say something or do something about it. So that's just not the way uh, he comes off to me, at least. So. Uh, that was written off the books the second I met him in the show. So even though I know there's a show that uh, comes after this, I'm assuming, uh, it doesn't even slightly uh, change what I, what I feel and see from him himself because he just doesn't come off as somebody that lays down and says, okay, enough's enough. But that's just me. Uh, I think what really... I think what really grabbed me though in this episode and really made me go, wow, like this was a really good episode as opposed to the other uh, episode before this one is the like the super tense and super emotional moments uh, that both Foggy and uh, Karen delivered towards the end of the episode where they, you can tell at least on Foggy's part, he was extremely frustrated with Matt. Uh, once again, doesn't really want anything to do with Matt. And then the fact that Karen was like, you know, what's going on? And he pretty much blew her off and was like, are you asking, you know, as coworker or are you asking his girlfriend? That's kind of freaking screwy. And then you give her nothing and you walk away and you're like, I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. First of all, most women won't even... They ain't sticking around. But secondly, a woman like Karen who, uh, you know, digs deep and really tries to find answers and shit like that. Don't do her like that. Like that was, ugh, I love Matt, but that was some shitty stuff. Um, but then he meets up with Electra, you know, really gets upset with her, which, you know, she, he needed to be, he needed to be upset with her because she, she ruined a huge, like she, 
they had a huge opportunity there and she just screwed it up. Uh, it looked like Matt, I didn't really pay attention to it, but now that I'm paying attention to it a little bit more now, it looks to me like Matt is becoming something he wasn't in the first one. Because now when he knocks someone down or knocks someone out, he's continuing to punch. And, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember or recall at any point in time him continuously beating someone up. Not even Fisk when he was fighting Fisk. I could be wrong, but he usually just tries to knock someone out and then goes about. Like he's and, and I know Electra could be rubbing off on him the wrong way, and that's probably why he's doing it, but he is like legit whooping and kicking ass and like continuously beating on people. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but then we're left off with again the you know huge hole that the Yakuza are digging. Uh, which I don't again, I don't read comics, I don't know where this is going why they're digging, which is actually uh, beneficial to me at least because it makes for a really good cliffhanger, uh, just not knowing. But I can't wait for the actual like sentencing of Castle. Like I wanna like I wanna get to the point where they're like guilty, not guilty. I wanna hear the reaction of the courtroom. I wanna see what he does. I wanna see facial expressions from him. I want you know what I mean like I it can, I think it could just go one of two ways and uh I guess the third way if there was a third way would be him just taking his sentence and going it, I just, that's about as slim of chance as I've ever seen to me at least personally I give it like a 0% chance that he does that uh but who knows who knows there's 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 limitless options of what could happen cuz he can maybe do exactly what I'm saying he can't do and he takes a sentence, but then someone else breaks him out or something. I don't know. I don't know. But I think it's one of the other two options. He's either going to get not guilty or he's going to get guilty and he's just going to not take that shit. And he's going to fucking, I just, for some reason, when we're in the courtroom and the camera angles, I'm like, yo, for some reason, I just feel like he's going to start whooping ass. <laughs> Somehow get out of the uh, handcuffs and start whooping ass. Maybe I'm just fanboying over here and wanting that to be the thing, but uh, I enjoyed this episode, though. Like I said, a lot more than uh, the previous episode. I just thought the previous episode was pretty boring. Uh, but this episode was a lot better. Um, I'm enjoy I enjoyed it. Uh, we're, was it now, like, with this one ending, probably like four episodes away from this. No, four? No, we're not four episodes. Four or five episodes away, whether it's 12 episodes a season or 13 episodes. So four or five episodes away uh, from the season finale of season two. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where we go from here. If you guys want me to jump into uh, maybe like a Jessica Jones uh, or, you know, is there a pattern to really watch this in? Do I just finish out Daredevil, watch season three? I know a lot of people love se season three. I don't know. We'll see what I do then. Uh, if you want, you know, comment down below what, what you think I should do. Uh, but that's the review. That's the reaction. Hopefully you enjoyed both of them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon if you want more of you know, a full reaction of uh, there's certain things I didn't add into the YouTube video. You could always catch it over on Patreon. Uh, but that's all the time I have. Thank you guys so much. Peace guys.